buttermilk channel. It's only take just a couple of minutes. Sunday morning at 6.40 to 6.45 a.m., I-20 headed west through Atlanta, Georgia. There was a car that came off the interstate backwards. I had to make a decision whether it hit the car head on or get its attention to push the car out of traffic. They were around three to five cars about to get hit head on. Luckily, I turned my wheels and pushed. The whole traffic seen me swerve. And when I swerved, everybody moved over two lanes. And the car, instead of hitting me head on, got in this lane past me right here. And I heard everybody blowing horns and stuff. And I had already prepared myself to stop and go back and work this wreck. Nobody was hit head on. Now, I don't know if that was a Christmas present or what for all of us. So if anybody was in Atlanta that morning, I think we got an early Christmas present that morning. And I normally don't go that way through Atlanta. I usually take the bypass, but something told me to go that morning. Just go straight. It's been wandering on my mind for two days. I normally don't make decisions like that. Usually I stick to the plan. Take the bypass, do this. You know, no sweat. Just remember, take time, reflect on what's important in life. And uh, when you have time, to share that time with other people. Um, kind of shook me to my core, should I say, that little incident. There's been many times out here that that one there shook me up. All righty, everybody have a good day. Here's a picture of some biscuits I cooked on the truck. So if you ever want to cook any biscuits in the truck, hey, I did it. Later. Something hanging back there. Oh, sleeping bag. This is a PSA for truck drivers. When you go to bed at night, you see that truck over there? Turn your daggum headlights out so you won't be shining on everybody. I know we all tired. Somewhere old bird's got them on. They've been shining them headlights ever since I got here, and I'm about ready to leave. All righty. Stick around and let's see what happened next. Well, somebody's got some issues. I smell antifreeze.